Um, okay, so I kind of wanted to mention this before I left it. I didn't, I forgot to do this, but uh, yeah. Um, these play-in tournaments and why you kind of should go with the more seasoned teams in general is because these are the teams that actually want to be in the SPL. Um, there are a lot of good minor teams that are not trying to play into the SPL. Uh, the reason being is they're more comfortable being at home where they're at. Visas, COVID in general, a lot of things like that. Like you're not getting the best quote unquote teams always showing up here, and that's why say like the bottom teams that have some players that have no SPL experience are making it here because they said, yeah, sure, I'll play for the SPL. You know that type of thing. Same with some of the newer like uh, top players. On, on our newer like the top rosters right they don't have the greatest um at minor league experience spl experience in general we're losing a lot of really good players in the past couple years because you know they just kind of kind of move on from smite in general so yeah just keep that in mind you're not seeing always the best teams and that's why when you have a structured team you can kind of go far like the um aquarius roster uzzy roster the Soto's roster, or the say Rotwin roster, uh, Nika roster, uh, Chopper roster, Ducky's roster. You you, you can kind of go far in these tournaments because you have more experience and because you're not always playing the competition you should be playing, respectfully. So, yeah, they would have put that in because I was almost going to forget it, but just got to mention that right now. I can maybe get my Discord before I start. But yeah, what is up, guys? Uh, we are going to be doing something a little bit different today. A little something more creative, a little more fun, some Photoshop editing type of stuff, you know, the usual. But the point of this video is to kind of go over the bracket for the Smite Pro League Season 9 playing games and basically predictions and what we got going on here, you know? So. My last video, I kind of went over the teams about what's going to be happening, the due dates, and whatnot you got to pay attention to. But we're just going to put them actually into a bracket, and you're going to see where I think they're going to kind of rank out. I think I even have like a tier list. I did like a couple videos for this because I found it kind of interesting. Because I'm like, hey, this is like a play in tournament. I don't think we've had this in a while, an actual play in tournament. But yeah, um, team, it's going to be team one through 10, right? And they're already ranked out by where Hyrez already wants to put them, essentially. So the hard work is already done for us a little bit, saying we think this team's going to win, and that's it. So Team 1 is basically the only Warriors with Nika, Cubo Fred, Neil Ma, Dardes, Vote, El Chuckles. Basically, the only Warriors we all know and love, or, well, I like them. Anyways, I'll put them right here. They already got a buy because they're the number one seed. They are the presumably the best team that is already here and is ready to go and prove and get their spot back. If they don't win this, well, that's it for their SPL careers and they might have to start playing in the minor league in um, the following year. Well, you know, the coming year, essentially. If they want to be getting that 40K a month guaranteed, not, not, not a month, but a yearly contract, whatever, basically they want to have the same career they've been having for like the next nine months, they got to win this game. So, very important tournament for them probably the most do or die situation for any other team like it, this is it for them this this is it they have to win this so yeah they're gonna have a lot more hunger to win this game than any other team here so that's that now team two is aquarius basically the winner dogs the uh presumably the second best team the team we expect or wouldn't be too surprised you also see here they're gonna go like right here Best, the second best team. So let me just give you a rundown. Aquarius is going to be Soul Lander. He's been around the SPL for a very long time. And I do mean like a very long time, like season three, season four, like a, a while. We have Kirimi in the jungle. Pretty good player. Probably one of the better in a... I forgot. Is he in a? I forgot. He's still one of the better like minor league junglers coming up. If he was... Like if say a jungler was gone for a season, right? They need, they need Someone needed a jungler on, on a top team. It's going to be either Kirimi, Ice Ice, or like, you know, the Cherio or like um sino getting that spot very seasoned good players of course on that list kirimi is the youngest player there and the newest to the spl or whatever but he would still get the look you know he's he would be like in that layer spot like i think season six you know in that spot of he can prove he can play comp he's good so yeah 
Jeremy, BennyQ, Gamma is going as support. And then you have Wowie ADC. Wowie has already been in the SPL before. Gamma has been around the scene for a while in general. So very seasoned team. The Winter Dog. Good team. Good team. Um, Ducky Solo. This is going to be going here. Where's three? Where's three at? Oh, yeah, there. Okay. So Ducky's team. So Ducky was on the Valkyries last season. In the SPL, he's been one of the more bottom solo laners for like the past couple of years now. Um, solo is a very hard role in general, so like nothing against him. He could probably take a lot of spots if he just switched over roles, but you know, he's playing solo. Um, yeah, so you have Ducky, uh, Aluminium, or Luke basically playing jungle. He's more of a streamer, doesn't have too much comp experience. I do know I saw him on the uh, a couple wiki pages on smite basically he's played on like the bottom team for the minor league so he's the biggest question mark on this team in particular if like say you switched him out and you got ice size i would have been very much more like accepting of this team like just taking a spot because ducky i'll be honest is a better player than aquarius so you you know you got some some stuff there moswell is also playing mid here like i said if they could have got Ice Ice, I would have been a lot more on this team to be number two. Uh, might as well been around the scene for a while, been a mid laner for a very long time. A pretty good mid laner in general. Just He's a world-class mid laner. He's already won his championship for Smite. Um, it just seems he's more, he can be used more for utility in the mid lane role. He can play carries, but it's like that's where I mainly see him as the best kind of role. Um, Herwin, he's switching over to support. He's no longer playing mid for the SPL, so he's playing support. Um, a little bit interesting seeing him playing support and them right away accepting it. I have seen his support. It's, it's okay. I'm not going to say it's the greatest. You know, He still got to, you know, Masters, Grandmasters, but he did have to do a queue to get there. I'm, I'm not going to say nothing else. It's cool. He's support. And then Snoopy. Snoopy has been around the SPL for a very long time. Really till like the beginning, really, I want to think about it. Um, Subi's been one of the best players to carry the game forever. Um, I think the problem comes into like those key moments where he doesn't always play the best. I remember like the last time I saw him playing the SPL, it was not great. It was not great. But playing this, the minor leagues, um, very low organized tournaments, they have a chance with him playing a carry. So Overall, good team, third best team is a good placing, I would say, but like you want to be top two. And if they would have had a different jungler, I feel like it'd be a lot easier to just say they'll probably get that spot over the Aquarius team, personally. Personally, as well as you having the question mark or Herwin support. If they say got Gamma or Oceans, I might feel a bit better, but Herwin's been around for a while. They probably trust his mechanical skill in general, so and game knowledge, so it shouldn't be that. Hard. Ah, oof, yeah, I'm still oofing on it, bro. You just switch into another role. You, not everyone can be, be like a jar core and just switch over to another role and be great or a top player in that as well. Like, you know, it's one of those. Number four is Uzi's team. Uh, he's gonna be right here. The team four. Let me. Uh, let me tell you the roster so you understand. So Uzi's team has him in solo, Ice Ice and Jungle. Like I said, if he would have switched over to a different team, I would have a lot better chance. But, uh, you know, Kiki with Hoodie, another Kiki account. He's okay. Ocean support and Joshi 80s carry. Now, there's a couple things with this team. There probably could be a sleeper if you think about some things. But, yeah, Uzi's already been around the SPO level for a very long time. He's been just itching at that door. Solo's just a very, very tough position. Um, he's been on bottom teams in the minor league, so that kind of hurts his case. But he's also been showing he's very much as good as Haddix, basically. I remember when the Bolts were looking for a solo laner. They had to think about Uzi, but they just went with Haddix. He was a better option for them. But yeah, Uzi's very good in Solo. So not really surprised. Um, Ice Ice has already played in the SPL for a while. When he does play in the SPL, he's pretty much one of the best junglers in general. Like you have to say he's like a, like around top three, top four. He played for the Valkyries last season because they needed a jungler last minute, and they were gonna lose regardless. So it doesn't really matter his performance. Um, he was gonna play on the old rivals team. I think two years ago it was it now. He did play on it. 
they didn't do so great so you have that against them too actually no no i think they were a top team as well still like i said great jungler um kiki with a hoodie he's always been around that spl level for with uh mid lane uh, i think the problem is like when more newer people came into the game his play kind of went down and you saw better mid laners over time but he's always around that level so i would say Moswell's better but not like a crazy amount if that makes sense um okay so ocean oceans has been around for a while he could have played support last season i know he, there was talks about that in general of him playing it um just didn't work out it's kind of interesting to see him on this roster instead of the one with the uh, the ducky roster that one looks like a more like better team for him but he's on this one and then josh a to carry I know I when I first saw Joshi, I was assuming it was the one from NA that everyone like does not like in general for rank queues for like lower masters that we don't like. Um, but him is gonna be the EU Joshi that's played on Luminosity. Good, good player, very underrated player, always one of the better players on his team. So it's actually gonna be pretty interesting to look at and see. They don't have coach. Um but I don't really think they'll be getting that far. I think they'll do okay, but I'm not really picking this team to win personally. Uh, number five is Delmi, Dame, Keepers, Vance, and Mineral with Jumpa Coaching. I think this is the EU roster, I believe so. Um, they're okay. Like, they're okay. I've been seeing Mineral switch over to the 8 Carol. It's a little interesting, but not really too like, crazy, I would say. If you play support, you kind of understand the role of 80 Carry. So, I'm not really... I don't know if I picked this team to win exactly i feel like if anything like i still think the other roster is a little bit better you know it's like a dark horse i don't think they're gonna win but yeah um let's mix we'll talk with team six let's mix solo mass kill isotos rotwin toady and alpha coaching so basically this is like a eu spain roster spanish roster i don't know i believe this is yeah that's the side these are new players so it's kind of hard um number six to be honest, they are my dark horse to go pretty far in this tournament. They have comp experience. They have, majority of them have played together with each other. The only problem is basically jungle roll and mass kill, what he's played of a lot of smite in general. He's not the mass we're thinking about with the YouTube channel, so it's not that one. So keep that on your mind. Um, but yeah, I think this team is actually a dark horse in my opinion. I actually would pick them to go decently far depending on the bracket so yeah um snatty team no no we're talking team seven team seven so this is the elion roster stream roster kind of like the ssg roster where it's like oh well you have all these people we know but they're actually not going to go that far that i don't think you know um so they're on the one of the bottom teams i'm not really too surprised elion's been around the pro scene for a while mechanically he's a really good player um i think the problem is like Sometimes the shot calling of just like always following the one guy and never really hear whatever some other people have to say about calls Because that's kind of how he runs the roster. He runs all of it If you've seen any of his actual like YouTube videos and he's shot calling it's great shot calling, right? but with At the next level it doesn't always work out that way That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah he also played on some minor league teams, but they've never really been that great. He's never, like, I can't say he's never. Some team, he's had some controversy with his teams in general, just, like, sometimes they don't take it serious. Sometimes it's maybe a little too serious, and it's never, like, con I don't think it's consistent enough. I don't know. His teams aren't consistent, like, number one, like, top, like, top five. Uh, But, yeah, we're going to stop and get off of him. Um, Malachi, smart player. I've seen his streams. Good player player um he understands the game very well let's see dashboard up and coming new player as well for support he's one of the best supports coming up right now i think more teams should have looked at him for support because you know he is one of the best support players in the game and then we have the 80 carry in my zin he could have already gotten an spl spot years ago but he had problems with his behavior in terms of just maybe a little too toxic um to be around so yeah he's on this roster um but yeah i think the dual lane is gonna be pretty strong in general i think the mid is okay shlamey i've seen him in rank but i don't see him in comp so that's the thing as well um 
No, to be fair, their roster would do pretty well in this formatting of not everyone's had a lot of seasoned time playing comp in general. I actually give them a pretty good shot to be a surprise team, a dark horse team to get somewhere here in the right round three, but I don't see them winning it per se, but they could, they definitely could. It only takes one good meta to win this tournament. Keep that in mind. So if they come in with the right, the best meta, they win the tournament. They just win it. If they come in all on the same page and it's working that mindset, it's working in this tournament, they're going to win it. That, that's just kind of how it is. At least get here, right? At least get here. A lot of these teams don't have comp experience or like high level comp experience. Some of them are newly formed teams, so they can really play around that and beat a lot of teams. But ooh, we're done. Uh, number eight is Snatty and Jangwar or Jangaru. That's their team. Primitive, Briz, and also Shimigami. Um, they're an up and coming team. There's some new blood. For the most part, um, I like their chances. To be honest, I like their chances. They have some pretty good mechanical players that are kind of new. Like Priv has been around; he's played on console before. Um, Jengaru has been around for a while in general, just playing the game. I can't really think too much about his comp experience. I, I kind of forgot if he did. Um, Shingo Shinigami has no comp experience at all. Oh yeah, and Otter's gonna be coaching them. Sotaku's gonna be coaching them. I, they're a dark horse team. I don't think they're gonna go that far but if they did it'd be kind of cool I, but i do think this roster would take honestly another year two years playing minor league before they actually hit with the big boys they're they're up and comers essentially um team nine so let's see i think this is another yeah yeah this this one so team nine they have experience a little bit together pretty much i'm trying to remember this is just the just f6 roster i'm trying to remember um, so yeah, they're ADC, Chekyo, and Support, and I think Marks as well have played together for a while. But yeah, I don't know too much about the Ray Shadow and Wegu, Wengu. I don't know too much about them, but these three, Support, AD Carry, and Mid, have played together for a while. Our minor league teams, essentially, for I think, believe, EU. Good teams, but not the greatest teams. From what I've heard, Chekyo is the best player on the team. He could have made an SPO like debut a while ago. But yeah, that's that. Don't expect them to go too far on honesty. But yeah, they also have no coach at two. But we'll see. Next is gonna be team 10, which is the Baneri, Win in the Rain, Slash, Monster Bomber, and Antics roster with uh they coaching. From what everyone's kind of looked at, it's Antics, Baneri. Kind of like the best players on the team, Monster Bomber, and then Slash and Win in the Rain don't know these players type of thing, you know? So, yeah, I'm not really high on this roster at all, I'll be honest with you. This is probably, like I said, the weakest roster here, and it's understandably why it's, it's like the weakest roster here is not really too crazy to, like, uh, kind of gauge that. But now we're actually going to go and get down to the um, the rosters. Not the rosters, but... um. How we're gonna format this stuff in general like who who wins it so yeah i'm gonna get the red paint here so double elimination and when i cross your name out twice that means you basically are, you're done you're out so match one i believe so is going to be eight versus nine on the first day and who do i think wins this um it's a little hard to say who i think wins this to be honest, it could literally go either way. You have a team that is basically brand new, but has a coach, versus a team that's been kind of around at the bottom levels, but has no coach. So I think I had said they lose this round. So that's one for them. They lose that round, and they go on to... Jeez. They go on to play... I'll just, like... Jesus Christ, I don't know how to do it. They go on to play Nika's team, so that's one. Um, so this is going to be Elyon's team versus the Bayoneri squad. I think this is kind of like easy. Um, no offense to them, but Bayoneri roster kind of just loses. It's, I, don't, I don't think that the, the uh, Chapo roster is like crazy strong, but like I think they'll beat this team. Like, mm, yeah. 
So they're going to move on to the next round. And then we're going to have in round two is going to be Nika versus the Chekio roster. And I'll be honest, they just kind of lose. So that's one across for them. And Nika's roster moves on to round three. So this is going to be Uzi versus Minerals roster. Um, it's a pretty interesting one, I think pretty interesting but i think it's kind of like more widely like thought of that team four would win this one i think you got some good players here on both squads but i think it's just kind of like eh, they they get a win here they get a win so yeah one x for you guys and then we're gonna have the next round is gonna be team two versus basically the the winner of this round being Elyon squad I think this is a very interesting test. This will probably be a very big test for the Elyon roster. If Elyon's roster beats Aquarius' roster, which is the Winter Dogs, right here on this stage, then that that could shape up the tournament. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'll be, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen, honestly. So I think Elyon's roster, Winter Dogs... Have kind of smacked them. Winter Dogs kind of smacked a lot of people in general. They kind of just are gonna win that, respectfully. So yeah, they win. Um, it's gonna be Ducky's roster versus Isolo's roster. I think this is a very interesting one because I I think there's gonna be an upset. <laughs> I think there's gonna be an upset somewhere, and I would not be surprised if it starts here. So I'm gonna be honest. I think Ducky's team loses here. I think they lose here to this roster personally. I think it's a good idea to say they, they lose here. So, this is going to be Nika's squad now versus the winner here. So, Nika versus Uzi's roster. Nika's roster wins. <laughs> Respectfully, they, they win. I, I just don't see them losing right here. Sorry to say. So, that's one X for them. And then we have, let's see here. We have the next one is going to be Aquarius' roster, Winter Dogs versus Isil's roster. This is going to be another hard one. Kind of fun. I really want to see how that's going to work out, but I kind of trust that the Aquarius Kirimi roster with Benny Q are kind of just going to smack them. The reason why I'm like the way, like how I'm voting this is the game is going to be based off of early game. No matter like how other people want to play the game to get late game, it's going to be based so much of early games. Early games going to matter so much more. There's so much more farm on the map in general. And I feel like with this one, you have to be able to play two styles. You'll be able to play organized team smite and then the chaotic rank smite of I'm just going to cheese you and get the win. If you can play both styles and do them well enough, you're going to win. And that's why I'm kind of picking the way I'm picking. I don't think the Rotwin roster could play the run it down roster like say with Gamma, Benny Q, and Kier. I don't think they could do that. I just don't think so. And that's why I'm kind of voting the way I'm voting. So yeah. Finals, I don't think there's gonna be too much of a shock. It's gonna be the Aquarius roster, Winter Dogs versus Nika's roster. And respectfully, this is gonna be a big one, but I could see Nika's roster losing here, straight up. I could see him losing. But at the same time, if they can play a little bit more late game and just hold out a little bit longer, which I think they could do, they have more ways to beat this roster than they have to beat the, than the Aquarius roster has to beat them. Honestly, they're gonna play it probably like one or one or two styles, and that's it. This one's gonna have more variety, and they're not really gonna be shook. That's the point. They're all playing the same ping. They're all gonna be flowing into Atlanta. It's gonna be even. I think they win. <laughs> I think they show up and they win. I don't think they're gonna be beating this Neoma team two times in a row and knocking them out when everything's on the, on the line so i think nika's roster wins it already and they move into the spl no with almost basically no losses on the resume i'll be honest it's pretty bad to say but i think that's just how it goes so um lose a match four we're gonna start doing this lineup now so loser of four which one's four uh I i'm i got it Okay, so match one, match nine, okay. I don't really, what the heck? Loser of one. I guess they mean this one, I, I guess? I'm trying to think about this loser of four. 
Oh, okay. That's on the side. That's when like okay, this is three. So uh, loser four should be this one, right? Yeah. Okay. So who's the first one to lose here? Uh, who would I say? I said that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Dr. Joster and Lizzo there. So it's gonna be those two versus each other. Uh, okay. So loser of three goes there. So loser three would be. This is why I'm getting like hella confused with myself. I'm pretty sure I picked them to lose here. Loser of two. All right. We're gonna do this very quickly, so who I think win loser wins here. Um Alright, so loser one, loser two. Okay, so who wins here? I'm sorry to say you guys get knocked out for a second time, and Ducky's roster moves on to the next one. Who loses here? I think this could be kind of an interesting topic in general. But I think Minerals roster beats this roster pretty good, and they move on as well. All right, so loser of six. All right, so six one was, oh shoot. The heck? I think I messed up here. Uh, Yeah, I probably messed up here. Two, no, two goes there. Loser three goes here, so that's them. And then the winner that goes there. So yeah, so they go there, they go here. And it's like loser of five. Five was which one again? Five was this one. So, who I said? Oh, yeah, I said they got here. So, they play the you guys. And loser of six. I don't think I said they're. I don't think they said they're losing anyone here, honestly. I think they said we got all the way to the final. So, I'm pretty, pretty shook right now. Like, forgetting who is playing who, honestly. Uh, yeah, I didn't say they won any of them. Oh, it would be this team. I'm bugging. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's just get over with. So who do I think wins this game? I think this roster gets knocked out. Well, actually, no, I don't think they, I don't think they do. Do I think the Baron roster is going to make it that far? It's a very hard one. Let me check to make sure again. Minerals, jump on. Versus, uh, it's kind of hard, honestly. I think, yeah, I think the mineral roster actually does make it this far. That's crazy. All right, so minerals roster makes it up here, and then you have loser six. So these guys play against each other. Ducky roster versus Leon's roster. I think I said this is could be very, very interesting. I feel like there's no one on the team that could really deal with Ducky though. If he gets to just kind of play. I think no one can deal with him. He'll just kind of win it respectfully. I, I just think that's just kind of how it's going to go. So, yeah. He goes here. They move here. Yeah. Then you have the loser of 12. 12 was here. So, I believe it was this one. They were playing these guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the loser of 11. I said it would probably be Uzzy's team. Versus, like, pretty much. So... Yeah, it's another one of these, like, who do I think wins it here? Like, it's, I think this is where they lose, and then this team gets to move on and have a good run to get their second spot. And then I think right here, it's going to be a pretty interesting one, but ultimately, who wins here? Roster 3 versus Roster 4. I think, ooh, I think 4 might win this, actually. Do I think 4 wins this game, actually? Because looking at it, dual lane's gonna be even. Moswell's pretty much gonna be able to beat Kiwi Kiki, but jungle is pretty even because I think Ice Size would be uh, Luke, and then you have Ducky versus Uzzy, and it's like I think Ducky wins that, but it's not like Uzzy's gonna just back down. Like eh, maybe a little bit, but eh, it's a hard. One. Yeah, I. Yeah, it is insane. I think I might give it a three. I think I might give it to three. Oh, this is so insane. I don't know who wins this, actually. 
it's hard to say, okay, who's better early game? What team is better early game? What team do I think is better early game? No, okay, yeah, it's four. It's four. Uzzy's team wins this one. Okay. The, okay, here's the reason why I, I made the decision that Uzzy teams wins this one right here. The reason I made, or the, the decision I made of, like, why, is essentially I feel like it's going to, like, depend a lot on early game and who's dying a lot and who do I think is going to basically feed the hardest on the team. And I got to the point of saying, I think this roster with Ducky is going to feed a little bit more than the see like this more seasoned consistent team in team four who's gonna feed hard early game who's gonna get hit harder with the pressure who would be more surprised by getting a lot of pressure and that came down to like dueling getting smacked that's what i felt like i feel like dueling would probably more evenly go to team four and i feel like ice ice would probably end up getting ahead and no matter what Ducky did in solo, Uzzy probably wouldn't be just letting him have everything like a lot of other teams would. So they kind of neutralize his effect to some degree. So yeah, um, yeah, done with that. Now we're going to talk about this final round. Who I think wins it? I think this is a very tough one, honestly. I think because I'm, I think this roster could very much surprise me in general. I think they could definitely surprise me, but then I don't look at Uzzy's team. I'm like, I don't know they should be in the SPL. Or not Uzzy's team, I thought. Yeah, Uzzy's team. I don't think they should be in the SPL. I don't know. Do they really have what it takes to take another spot? Because Ducky definitely should be on the team for SPL, but it's like, collectively, they would really have to do something. Hmm. It would be a hard one, but I think Uzzy's team makes it to the SPL now. A loser of 16. Yeah, I, I think I think they make it to the SPL just about. I'm thinking they do. But I did. I'm pretty sure I had these two making it to the finals. And it was going to be the Winter Dogs versus Uzzy's team to get the last spot for SPL. Everything on the line. And I think... What do I think happens? I think Uzzy's team loses. <laughs> All that to say this, damn, that's unfortunate. So I, I guess I really do think the top two teams here, high res's quote unquote decision because they did see these teams based on what they thought or who they thought should make the SPL, and these two bottom two these two top teams end up making the SPL and, and be the two bottom teams in the SPL. Well, this one probably might not be a bottom team when they all get there, but still a bottom team in the SPL. But I think they make it. I think they make it, and we have some pretty interesting rosters all around, but in the end, Team 1 and Team 2 still win it, I feel like. When I look at this, and I did the brackets, and I saw who did what, where they lose here, uh, I had some teams that are high, I was definitely high on. I had some teams that were definitely sleepers, but when you look at the matchups and how it probably would go in terms of like in-game... Sure, there's some things I think could definitely change, predictions that I definitely probably will get wrong in general, but like I think it's just kind of a safe bet. Nika's team is just going to make it, be number one seed, just win it almost all the way through. I don't think a lot of these teams can really compete with them in general. Some of them can, but it's going to come down to like little mistakes, and I think they'll clean up a lot more and know them before they'll ever like even think about them. I don't, it's hard to say, but yeah, I, I think they win. But yeah, um, some good teams here for sure. Some teams that I feel like definitely could deserve a SPL shot in general. A lot of good players are going to get kind of lost here in this bracket, but that is what it is. Team 1, Team 2 win it, and then go to the SPL. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it might have been a long one. I make sure, I'll make sure to edit it for sure so you can uh, have a better viewing experience. But yeah, is what it is. See you next time.